welcome back to another video still on the uh, boat with uh, Yardman right here and our brother over there the captain of the boat yeah and you have lucky chair right here and a badge right here and then uh, we want to show you uh, how the boat ride look with Yardman right here and this is his cool cool boat that we are in right here and that's his captain, captain right captain, there captain, captain, captain. so uh what will you tell us about lemon lodge yes you are welcome on board you know this is lemon lodge as i told you earlier on yeah we have a boat in lemon lodge you know we can offer a uh, river excursions you know we can take you to daranka there are different places you can go up to georgetown if you want wow. yeah, you can go to james island yeah wow. yeah yeah different different trips you know depending on what you want you know but normally when you come to the Lamen Lodge, you, you have Eddie here, he's the captain and he represents Zane Yard. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you come to Lamen Lodge, you know, Eddie is the one to meet, you know. Yeah, man. So I will hook you up with Eddie. So, yeah. 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 so Eddie, what do you have for us or oh, for people that would be coming on this Zane boat right here? Yeah, Zen boat ride experience is a very nice stop when you try it because it's all about River Gambia. If you want to know more about nature, you must join the River Gambia, you know more about the nature. Because in this nature here, we have lots of things which you know are very important for the local people and even for the tourists also. Because normally here, it's like we get six hours high tide and the other six hours is low tide. So at the moment now the tide is coming up, completely high tide, that's the time you cannot see the oysters, but now if you look, you can see the oysters by the roots of the mangrove. So when it's completely high tide, it's not possible to see the oysters. From there you just see the green level with the mangrove and over with the water. You can't see the ground or you can't see the mud anymore. Wow. So completely high tide also we have four meters deep, the deepest part here. During low tide we have two meters or one and a half meters. During low tide there are some parts of the island here, they are sandbanks. Whereby it's possible to have a walk on an island when it's completely low tide. And also like when it's completely low tide, when you want to visit a village called Daranka or an island called Daranka because we are having an island here called Daranka. It's not a completely island but one of the reasons why we call it an island, when visiting there by boat we call it an island. So in that island that's one of the most interested part of the tour coming here. In that island you can see the biggest tree living for more than 800 years or for more than thousands of years. Wow. And it's the only tree I have ever seen in my whole life, tree with a house, mm -hmm. tree with a house, and also on that same tree you can see an image of an elephant head. Elephant head yeah. And when going to that tree house, when the water is completely high tight, you're gonna cross with your boat under a mangrove tunnel to cross to the village called Daranka. But when it's completely low tide, you can't go with a boat like at the moment. When it's completely low tide, we just leave the boat on a sand bank. We have a walk with the boat. We have a walk by our feet. We leave the boat on a sand bank. We walk by our feet. Whereby the walk gonna take you 20 minutes or 5 uh, 15 minutes to have a walk to the big tree. So when you reach the big tree, after the big tree, you have a woman's garden. After the women's garden, if you build on interest, you want to see the local people, how they live in their compound, or you want to try the local farm juice, it's also possible in that village also. Okay. So how far it is from Lemon Lodge here? How far from here to that village? Yes. It's just like a matter of two hours. Two hours? Yeah, two hours. One hour going, one hour coming back. Okay. But not completely one hour you are going. It's just like maybe 45 minutes going, you spend the 30 minutes there, the other 45 minutes you come in back, make it two good hours. Okay. That's a wonderful, wonderful explanation from. Is it Eddie? Eddie. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie yeah. Okay. Uh, lucky child. Yeah, man, yeah, man. When them come to the Gambia, um, they will have more experience from 
um, Eddie, you know what I mean? Because he born and grew in Lemon, and then he's from a family that found Lemon. Yeah. Um, I think he's from a Boyang family, yeah? This is a family. This is a family, yeah. yeah. But the Sate, the Sate, uh, Sate, Sate bankers, um, they are the founders of the village, so they know Lamen much more than we, we the strangers in Lamen. Okay. So um, if you want to know more about Lamen Lodge or more about Lamen village, they are the people to contact. So simply the way as the way we always do it, you have to um, contact them live and direct if you want to have a river tour. Okay. Or um, you, have, you want to have um, more experience about River Gambia. So Eddie, how do you charge? When uh, if someone come for a ride, a boat ride, yeah. do you charge yeah. per hours like or minutes for distance? Yeah, we normally charge per hour and per head. Okay. What do you mean by per head? Per hour and per head. That means each head yeah. and every hour by we are charging. Okay. Yeah, so that means per hour and per, per head. head. Okay. So every hour, Body if at all, when there's a boat with a covered, Every hour you pay nothing less than seven hundred. You charge seven seven hundred per head for every hour. Okay. So we have different boats and different prices. We have an open boat which you know it takes two people on one boat. On those two people, one gonna be a captain. So on that two people like me and you, one gonna be a captain. Okay. So like when you take a boat like this. Two of us or three of us, we're going to have two captains on board who will pull the boat for us. The ones for 700. But the ones for 500, that one you need your own captain. You will be your own captain to paddle yourself. Okay. And this other big boat you see in here making a noise are from Denton Bridge. All right. Now it is, this is one of the most active bodies happening in the Gambia. Okay. Most of the big peoples in the Gambia, they like to do this such kind of a trips like this. Yeah. To okay. cross from Denton Bridge up to here. And this other boat you see around here are owned by the sailors from Europe. They sail from different parts from Europe and they are also here for holiday. Wow. Two months, three months, four months, five months and after they go back. But some of the boat owners, when they really like the stay, when they're going back to Europe, they will prefer, they will leave the boat here. They take a flight when going back to Europe. Taking a flight going back to Europe, it's more easier with them, rather they go back with their boat to Europe. Because leaving their boat, it's like, even when they pay tax for it, it's like in Europe, when they pay 100%, here they might pay 25% of tax. So that's the difference. Okay. And more on that other side there, that's the mouth of the Atlantic Ozone. Through their five nautical sea miles, you see yourself in the Atlantic Ozone or in Banjo. Okay. Wow, that's a very, very wonderful. And uh, the River Gambia spring. also is very interested and rich in fishing. Okay. We have different varieties of fish in the River Gambia. This is like barracudas, ladyfish, captain fish, mullets, snappers, tilapias, groupers, tunas, gambas. I can name all of them. Mm. Okay, now, uh, this boat, how long do you think it will take them from Europe to here? Yeah, when the sea is not rough, uh -huh. it takes them for four weeks or five weeks. When the sea is rough, it takes them for seven to eight weeks. Wow. And wow. also, they will have a stops in some countries mm. like Morocco, Cape Verde, Algeria, Tunisia, mm. around the coastline. Yeah, but they will spend some few days there. Yeah, a few days, and after they start cruising back. Okay, okay. Some of them are very wide, you know? big. If you yeah. please have any questions or any doubt, I like questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> questions are highly welcome on my trip. I yeah, always yeah, like yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. So, um, if somebody or someone in need of um, a trip from here, from here to Makati, how much will it be, or how much it will be cost? Trip from here to Makati. Yeah, from here to Makati. It's like a three night trip. Three night trip. Three days, three, three nights. Days. Three, three, three days, three nights. Three nights. Yeah. Sure. So on that trip, normally. Mm -hmm. We charge in euros, we don't charge in dollars. Okay. Because you're gonna use a big boat 
with a with a deck mm -hmm. and a toilet and a bar and kitchen and everything inside of the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So normally on that, the maximum price is individual three hundred and fifty euros. Mm -hmm. When it's more than five people. When it's more than five people. Yeah, but less than five people, you can take the trip. Okay. Yeah, okay. because according to the way they charge. It's gonna be expensive. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be expensive. So three hundred euros. Huh? Yeah, three hundred fifty euros. Three hundred fifty euros. So after paying that three hundred um, euros, are they the, are they are they the one who have to offer the food for them? Or? Yeah, they will offer you food and drink on that three days, mm -hmm. and your accommodation also will be from that money you pay to them. Oh, that is if you get there. Yeah, when you get there. So your accommodation the first night, you are gonna have a stop in Tendaba camp. Then okay. So in Tendaba is up to the justice. When they wanna sleep on board, is possible. When they want to have a night on an apartment too, it's possible. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow, so from Tenderbar, they will cross from Tenderbar to Wasu or to Farafenye. Farafenye. The next stop will be in Farafenye. In Farafenye too, they also they have any apartments there or a just houses there. So their third move will be in around Wasu. Or they will even pass Wasu, they go up to Makati, George Town. George Town, yeah. yeah. So around Georgetown, then you can expect to see wild animals in the river Gambia. Animals the like? Hippos, crocodiles, snakes, chimps, mm -hmm. baboons in the wild. So but they are not harmful animals? They are very harmful animals. Okay. Yeah, hippos are harmful, baboons are harmful, harmful crocodiles are harmful, harmful and snakes. Yeah. Yeah. So why can't we get those type of animals on this other side? Why we can't get on this other all those animals in this other side of the river Gambia? Because this is the salt water part of the river Gambia. They can't stay in the salt water. Okay. Yeah. We have crocodiles around here, but most of the time when you want to see the crocodiles, that's when it's raining. From there, the water is not 100% salty. Yeah, salty. So but yeah. when the water is 100% salty, we don't see any crocodiles around here. Mm -hmm. And even to spot the crocodiles here, it's often, not always. Always, yeah. When you are not lucky, you'll be coming here for more than 10,000 times, you'll be not lucky to spot a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> but when you are lucky, on your very first day, you can come, you're lucky, you spot a crocodile. A crocodile. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this way, where does it go to? That one right there? This other way goes to a village called Mandinari. This other way? Mandinari. Yeah, Mandinari. Okay. In Mandinari too also they have a lodge there or a camp there. Mm -hmm. Whereby also when they get justice, where they have overnights. Different with Lamel Lodge. Lamel Lodge get a name of a lodge but there is no accommodation. Mm -hmm. It's just there for only food and drink and a boat explosion. Or a boat ride or a river Gambia crossing. Okay. That's one of the most active bodies body in Lamel Lodge. Yeah. Mm. That's so, why that's why we came up with Zen Yard. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. there is no accommodation in Lamel Lodge itself. Mm -hmm. And Zen Yard is like five to ten minutes walk from Lamel Lodge. That's why we came with accommodation, a guest house, you know. Yeah. That's the main reason, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really like the wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lodge, I was enjoying the explanation of this nature. That that really got me. It's yeah. really peaceful, you know, and quiet yeah. around quiet. here. Very you know, quiet. Yeah, that's, Very yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's peaceful fact, and quiet. You can see how quiet the river is itself. And yeah. the river is always like this. Wow. When the river is rough, knows that that's starting from February, mm -hmm. March, when it's too windy. Mm -hmm. But when there is no wind, the river is always quiet peaceful like this yeah. so that's one of the reasons why we then encourage life jackets on our trips because of the safety of the river mm -hmm. yeah it's not yeah. rough yeah but we might get some jerseys before they get on board they might demand life jackets mm. so when you demand a life jacket we give you life jackets also but we tell you that without a life jacket you can make your trip very successful yeah, okay. yeah. wow Wonderful experience. Yeah. 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 So, about Yeah. What I like about this trip, that's what you want to ask me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to sleep here. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you want to go back? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> I want to go back. And how many, how many, uh, how, how deep will this, will this place be? Around here at the moment, it's like two meters 
dip. Oh, okay. Because the tide is coming up. Yeah. Where we have the boat there, around there at the moment is three meters upwards to four meters. Mm. Because where we get this sailing boats, that's the deepest part of the creek here. Mm. Around this where the boats are. That's the deepest part of the creek. So that's why the boats they anchor there, they, they have a moor in there, they don't use this other side. Mm. Because they, when they use this other side completely low tide, the chill of the boat will be on the ground or on a moat, mm -hmm. which you know is not good for the chill of the boats. Yeah. So do you also have, uh, like, uh, must, like, let's say if somebody wants to just go around here, do you always have to use uh, a manual or you have a Pardon, machine? You have yeah, we have engines okay. which we also use. It depends the trip you want or how you want your trip to be. But most of people come in here, they will choose the paddling mm. because it's more silence mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and from there you feel more nature. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, With yeah. the engine boat, when you see any birds or anything you, you build on interest to have a picture with it, you can't take a picture of it. Oh. Because, of because the, the moment you had the noise of the engine, they always fly away or they move. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember the first time we come around here, it was an engine boat. Yeah. And in fact, that video has a lot of noise in it. Yeah, yeah. Noise. Especially if it is going at high speed, yeah. you'll have to shout before uh, we can hear you talking. Yeah. yeah. But is it all the same price? But in the engine and the paddled boats yes. are not the same price. Normally, on this other boat, we're using the covered boats. These are the covered boats. The covered boats, we normally charge each head 700 and for every hour. Oh. So if I thought if you're going for two hours, we charge you double seven hundred. That's gonna be fourteen hundred. Okay. So three hours you times it by three. But if I thought when you're going for two hours, we have a discount for you also because here is gambling. We don't have a fixed price on whatsoever we're doing. Monkey business in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Uh -huh. As you know, nice Gambia, everything is nice, everything beautiful, chronic forward, always. As we say, everything is beautiful in the Gambia. Seen is the place. As a tunnel, make right? a visit to Lamel Lodge huh? and make sure um, yeah. you will see them. Yardman um, with his captain, um, he is well experienced in, in the Gambia. Um, anywhere you want to go through land and river. Anyway, you want experience, Yardman will let you know. And then um, the big man himself um, is bagger him there. Um, he will let you know um, all over the Gambia because they've been working with the tourists and they've been doing this job way Wait. back, longer days back. So simply the way as uh, we always cover the best out of the rest. So they are one of the best tour guards in the Gambia. Um, simply the way, if you want to come to the Gambia, dial them number, they can come for you in the International Airport Forward Always. And we will drop up their number in the ending of the video, but I forget to ball up my country. Uh, red, white, blue, white, green for the Gambia, my motherland, we stand for your Walk and pray that all may live in big unity, freedom, peace each and every day. And if you want to live in peace forever, evermore, repatriate to Zion, come back to Africa, come and make a visit to Africa so that you get more experience, more experience, no damnation. I mean, say, peace and love and unity. I will say, love is the beginning, is the ending, is the reality. There's no fake. Love your brother, love your father, love your uncle, love Africa, love black God, people, love okay. white people, love Japanese, love Indians. I always say, love the Quran, love the Bible. I mean, say, love the prophet, Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I mean, say, forward always. Give thanks and praise to the most high, the ever living, the ever faithful, the everlasting. I mean, say, Gambia, we there, we there, life and direct down in Lamel Lodge. I always say, the best view done in the Gambia. It's Lamel Lodge. So anywhere you're there, if you miss Lamel Lodge, come back to Lamel Lodge. Um, you will have more and more and more experience because every year, every day, every time, they are inspiring a lot of things. They are seeing a lot of things. So forward always. But forward always, you will um, explain a lot for us. Um, if you come to the Gambia, you will know more because we don't have that lot of time because we don't want to keep the video um too far or too long um because um some of our subscribers they don't have that lot of time um to watch the video like 20 minutes 30 minutes to video most of the videos we're doing like 15 10 minutes um part one part two uh, but simply the way um I will let them um, to explain themselves more and more so that you can more you can have more inspiration to visit Africa. We call them for repatriation to Africa. I will say oppression no bag way, oppression clean the nation, oppression go back to farm, 
of prison grow what you eat and eat what you grow. I will say for the Gambia, our homeland, I will say red, white, blue, white, green. Check out the river water is green. Check out east and west, not to the south, is green. So we say agriculture way bad. The river water is blue. I will say forward always. But let them know about Lamel Lodge. Yeah, man. Let them know more about Lamel Lodge, my brother. I'm a farm dad. <laughs> because I'm a, I'm a my classmate. Yeah, man, yeah. not today. Yeah, man. Not Same today. time, I'm a childhood friend. Friend, not today. I'm a my number one um, schoolmate during school time, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> In those days, we are somehow stubborn during school days, but nowadays, you know. <laughs> Things change, man. Yeah, things change, you know what I mean? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, boat trip. Um, we don't want to keep the long uh, the video very long, like Lucky Chai said. Uh, we're going to end it right here, just to give you a feel of what you would have when you come down here to Lamel Lodge. In fact, this is just the beginning. If I imagine, you know, this quiet environment, this quiet everything, nice water, nice mangroves, all the way down, deep sea. It will be really amazing. So we do, we, 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 we do lots man. of things in the River Gambia here. We do fishing, bird watching, nature walking. We visit a village called Daranka. Mm -hmm. In Daranka, you can have a nature walking, and we do pelican watching and dolphin watching too. Wow. We have all those animals in the River Gambia. Whereby Gambians even living in the Gambia here, they don't know what we get in the Gambia here. Yeah. So which is very important even for our fellow Gambians, brothers and our sisters living in diaspora. When they are in a holiday, let them try and visit their own country so that they can know their culture and their rules. Yes, I. Yeah, which is that. very important to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And tell, tell them all the black men them in UK, in London, in, in America, it's time for them to repatriate to Zion. Zion, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. them don't no, them, them no know what they're missing, you know. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So they miss something big in Africa. Just pack up your bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ring yard, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Come man. to Zen yard. Yeah, yeah man. man. Next minute Zen you are done, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, hit the subscribe button, like it, forward this video to anybody who, who, who should see this video who wants to come down to Gambia so that they know where to live when they get down to Gambia and what to do when they're in the Gambia. See you in another video.